everybody shops on Amazon, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, and Amazon's founder, Jeff Bezos, probably one of the richest people out there. Um, he has some insights because he's he's running a very successful business. I think he started in his garage. So mm -hmm. I would think he knows what he's talking about. But he has some insight on meetings. And I know for a fact, I have too many meetings <laughs> sometimes. So he talks about messy meetings. Zahid, have you? Yeah. So it, this this idea was uh, brought to my forefront. I was watching a Lex Friedman pro uh, podcast. I don't know if you know him. A very successful podcast, great podcast, and he has all the big people there. He has ha he's had Elon Musk numerous times. He's had uh, a lot of the you know he's had former presidents and stuff on his podcast, and he's also had Jeff Bezos, uh, who's doesn't he doesn't really do too many public interviews, and this was probably his only podcast. So I've never really he heard him talk in a public mm -hmm. form like this. So it was interesting because. You just know of Amazon. Everyone knows, you know, the, the brown boxes and everyone's got, got packages delivered to their homes. But uh, this is the first time he actually broke down, you know, his mind and how he built Amazon and all the ways he functions and, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he built the company. So there was a few thoughts that he brought out that I just love to have a chat on. Um, and it is a polarizing thing because he believes in messy meetings. He believes in wandering during meetings because he believes that lead to, leads to group innovation, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the topic for today for the Aura Insight. Um, a lot of people don't like messy meetings. They like meetings that are structured. You know, these are the things, five things we're going to talk about. This is the time we're going to talk about it. And let's talk about it. And if it goes beyond, people get upset. They're looking at their clocks and get frustrated. It's like, who called this meeting? That person's an, an idiot. They don't know what they're <laughs> talking about. Um, they're so unorganized. But here you are, as you mentioned, one of the richest person people in the world um he started a company in the most competitive like the most mature industry in the world retail like you can't how, what that's probably the first one of the first industries in the world selling stuff he went in this industry and in 20 25 years he changed it right uh so i think there's a lot of positive that goes into uh you know um to having messy meetings but before I, you know, go there, what, what's your thoughts? you like when meetings are kind of messy and they're kind of all over the place? Or no. do you like structure? I personally like structure, but I never thought about, you know, Jeff Bezos point, having a meeting that is unstructured, you know, maybe no topic for me. So, I, I, so just to clarify, so he does have a topic. So, okay. he, so what he likes was a, a clear agenda of what, why we're gathered today. Okay. Right? okay. But what we're talking about, that's totally open. And maybe we're going to be talking about these five things, but we end up like 80% of the meeting talking about this and this leads to five other things. He's cool with that, right? But there was a purpose for them to, you know, sit down together and, and, and solve the business problems. So that's what he means by messy, that the, it's sort of goes off on tangents at Correct. times. Yeah, and there's oh, wandering. It's not just like a chaotic yeah. room. Right, there, that's what I was but thinking. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of wandering that's happening and he likes wandering. He doesn't... So he you're not going to be like, okay, well, this let's parking lot that for another time. Correct. Okay. Correct. Perfect example. Because that happens often where some of the, like the, you're onto something, right? You, and that's what one of the things he mentioned, group innovation, right? Where he, he his thing was, because everyone thinks invention is like, you know, electricity, right? If it's not electricity, you, that, that, inventions could only be really, really, really big. He thinks innovation is just a better way, way of doing something, Right. And when you make a new way of, if you made a, made a better way of doing something, you made the whole world richer, right? So for example, if a farmer invented a better way of plowing, you made the whole world richer because that method could be used by the whole world, right? Uh, so that was his thought, right? Mm -hmm. And what, what he believed in. And you see it all the time, Keisha, where people are in the meeting and it starts to go and there's some exposure or something that comes up. That wasn't maybe the number one topic or it was the number one topic, but there's something that they're uncovering and someone parks it. And let's talk about another because to stick to the agenda. So his thing was with agendas. Um, he likes agendas when you're talking about, you know, weekly business performance meetings where there's not much, you know, you're just like tweaking a little number here or there. Right. So, th yes, for sure. Those ones, it's good to move it right along and there's not much innovation that's going to happen. Right. 
But when it's like solving business problems, like, you know, how should we handle shipping faster? How can we ship faster? How can we give something cheaper? How can we solve this problem? How come people, there's people stealing uh, boxes out of porches. How do we solve that, right? So he likes those meetings to be messy. He likes those meetings to be, you know, having, you know, a lot of wandering happening, right? Because he believes if you do that, you have a group of people that's kind of trying to tackle this problem. And then all of a sudden you tackle it with, with, you know, innovation, group innovation, but that was only done because of this, this search for truth and the seeking. You can only have when it's not structured, right? Have you seen people where uh, there's meetings and everyone's like, this is so unorganized. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's wasting 20 people's time here. <laughs> yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah, I mean, I, all meetings. Yeah, yeah, all meetings. Or when <laughs> yeah. you have a meeting to plan a meeting, uh, those are the best. But I mean, I... <laughs> I can see, you know, I guess messy meetings to me, that would be more of like a brainstorming session exactly. yeah. where you're like, okay, the whole purpose of this meeting is to come up with a solution to problem X and there is no agenda. Um, and, so and, I think there's that a time. meeting, even if the agenda is coming up with solution to problem X, all of a sudden we made Y better. Well, that's good. Just go with it. Right. I think when, 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 when we say parking lot, okay, we're talking X, let's only talk about X, let's keep focused. Mm. It could be good, but I think there could be, like depending on the company you're working for, the, the industry, mm -hmm. if you're an innovative company where you're inventing new things, you're trying to change things, you want that messiness to happen, right? You want to encourage wandering and asking questions. And I don't know about that. Let's investigate, right? And all of a sudden, um, one other technique um, about meetings he does was, um, he would say, okay, we're, so th this is textbook, most, most companies, Hey, we're going to be meeting about A, B, and C, right? And you know what happens is the usual suspects that always read it and they're prepared to come with notes and everything. And there's people that like, you can tell that they didn't start looking at it until mm -hmm. the meeting started. Right. So what he did was to stop that was he would spend the first three or to five minutes, whatever, to recap the, the stuff that they're talking about, because sometimes the people that are not organized and prepared are the ones that add the most value right so you're embarrassing the people you're just saying well you know what shame on you you didn't re research and this person researched you know brownie points for that person but that other person that didn't re read ahead of time might be the one that's giving the most value but that may be the best person to solve the problem so clear kind of intention for the meeting with a three to five minute uh let's let's recap what brought us here today this memo this this book this article this so-and-so okay now let's talk about it right and let's wander let's go all over the place let's try to figure this out and and it might be like a 10 minute meeting that lasts like three hours but remember that, that if you're solving something like creating amazon prime <laughs> or making you know one day shipping come you know to fruition how much more valuable is that than cutting a meeting short and like you know just get to the point and move on yeah i like that dynamic um and what you're talking about like parking lots and things. Oh, that's not on the agenda, but you know, good start. Let's, you know, table that for now and then come circle back. And I think it's great that, you know, they kind of pursue those tangents and say like, okay, well, we're on this now. Like, mm -hmm. does anyone have any thoughts? Like, well, we're here because yeah. let's contribute to this thing. So I think you're, you're not really like stifling people anymore by saying like, okay, good idea. Let's table that because you know, you can get into like a creative flow. You can get ideas, the brainstorm, the chemistry of the group, the willingness yeah. of people to like bounce ideas off of each other. So um, I think it's good that you kind of keep that momentum going. I agree. See where it goes. Yeah. And and also depending on what what the topic or objective is, um, having a messy meeting would probably um, lend itself to getting a solution. But um, so it's it's not something that I've I've personally uh, tried, but I you're think gonna try it now, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For sure. it. And 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 you made a great point there, Patrick. In terms of let's par you know you brought it up uh, first, Takisha is let's park that. But you know what happens? It never con we never talk about it again, right? And as you said, you have that you know creative you know uh, juices flowing. You got the chemistry. You have the t it just top of mind. You might not get that again, right? That chemistry, that kind of the the perfect kind of uh, you know the the perfect kind of formula for that. So. I, I think go with the flow, right? Mm -hmm. And stop, you know, putting uh, meetings where stopping that and just, just talk about this because that's what we're talking about. Um, I'm not saying that meetings should always, you know, follow no agenda and just go all over the place. 
But I think when you have that flow and you're onto something that's a really, really big problem for the company, I think you should go with the flow. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, yeah. especially when like a lot of meetings, I'm sure that we've been in over yeah. the years, people just aren't in it. Yeah. They're mentally just yeah. not there. Yeah. Right. But to yeah. get people with like all cylinders firing, mm. going, 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 the last thing you want to do is say, now stop Park that. It. Stop that <laughs> yeah. helpful brainstorming. We're going to, because that's not on the agenda. Right. Yeah. So that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I like that. 